Hey guys and welcome. Hopefully you're going to be able to see a beautiful game of Total War Warhammer 3 Domination today. I'm a Robert Duck of War up against the mighty Nathan aka Natwig aka Nathan CA in the discords and it is going to be Nurgle taking on the mighty forces of Zinch. Two epic rivals dueling against each other. We've already had some Zinch shenanigans early on. I did record this video and uh, it seems like it didn't record any of the actual screen, just my voice and I uploaded it. So some of you guys may have heard the start of this before but we're here back doing a very quick recording to get this video hopefully up in decent time and we have gone for the dreaded don't try this at home nurgle build the scary nurgle air force we have plague drones of nurgle coming with the death heads they do some pretty decent armor piercing at long range damage throwing heads down upon the enemy we have two of those bad boys today as well as a unit of rot flights and i adore the wing animations on these units they really remind me of the fopters coming out of uh, dune if you've seen the latest movie and the way they're almost like dust, they're moving so quickly, bouncing it back and forth. We also have a Herald of Nurgle of Death, in fact, so mixing up a little bit, not bringing up the standard spells. He still gets the passive, however, and our Herald is coming in with Fatabuna, Spiralage, and the Purple Sun. Down on the ground, we have one unit of triple gold chevron Nurglings looking to have a good time and apply a little bit of pressure to the objectives. As for my opponent, Zinch is a pretty scary faction indeed. They've got a lot of potential in their roster. We have Doom Knights up in the skies, beating their shields against and their glorious little, uh, I don't even know what these mounts are called, but uh, the little flying discs of Zinch, I think that might be the name. They are very powerful. Big fan of Doom Knights, pretty expensive, so I like starting with a unit and just trying to keep them alive as much as possible. With Chaos Knights of Zinch down on the ground, we also have a glorious Exalted Flamer. It's uh, pretty useful. It's a single entity version of the Flamers, much like the Ancient Salamander is to the Salamander Hunting Pack and can do some really big burst damage. We also have Chaos Fate Weaver himself coming in with all his useful buffs us as well as a uh, pendulum and regrowth and he's brought the gaze of fate and the reason i love the gaze of fate here with his build is he can pin my units in place and then use the flamer to obliterate them from long range you can see that already happening my units kind of getting stuck and the flamer just douse them in the holy warp fire of zinch the herald of nurgle is trying his best we are dominating the skies a bit doom knights take significant damage here maybe a bit of friendly fire as well from the exotic flamer down on the ground and now the plague drones as well as the rot flies trying their little heart out to deal with uh, the enemy air core here the zinch doom knights are starting to go down they do get a nasty regrowth on the most wondering why they were so tanky but it's such a good combo coming in fate weaver and the regrowth and look at the exotic flamer go he's bringing some pretty decent pain to the battlefield there just burning out the middle we have furies as well hunting down my plague drones of death heads so i summon in more flyers i am demanding that i take the skies when you think of nurgle and you think of zinch you don't think of mobility from nurgle or air forces but i'm determined to try it out and the rock flies doing a decent job up against the furies in general and the Death Heads as well. I actually managed to surround Fate Weaver a little bit. If we can drag down the enemy caster, casters are so important for Zinch. We could be in a pretty useful situation. Look at them go just hovering around and trying to uh, nip and jab at those heavily armored Doom Knights. They've broken through the shields, but the armor is another beast entirely. Down on objective number one, we do see some Chaos Knights being summoned by my opponent. Big fan of this play in an attempt to run over my Nurglings, who will be able to hold for a long time. The cool thing about this map for Nurgle, the home objective is relatively close to this Vanguard point, so I can just constantly throw nurglings at it and hold it down objective one is gonna be claimed by some pink horrors of my opponent he's also summoning in some more forsaken for a bit more meat in the central core because i have plague toad typically hopping in their way over to the exotic flamer looking to drag it down it's done a decent job in combat nothing too crazy the plague toads should be able to overwhelm it and up in the skies we dominate it papa nurgle was like hey zinch think they rule the skies no sorry i have a beautiful concoction and creation to match them in the form of the rot flies we've dragged down the doom knight Fate Weaver, you're next. I've got my eyes set on you. And we are starting to drag down his shield here. Fover, not the greatest melee combatant. A bit worse than the basic Exalted Demon. But uh, can still do some decent work as well. Now, the Plague Toads are contested in the middle, up against the Exotic Flamer. Unfortunately for me, Forsaken are going to flood in, and Forsaken are fantastic. Zinch Forsaken with those magic attacks, they can rip apart so many demons. I do counter charge them, but it is not going to be a good fight for the Toads whatsoever. Their health is dripping off them in gooey clumps of green pestilence. I do move some Plague Toads, though, to go contest objective number one, and hopefully drive away the pink horrors. And you can see we are starting to contest it there, stopping my opponent from capping. As far as objective three goes, there is some rather annoying 
Chaos Knights here. We're going to be moving in. It seems a Cultist of Nurgle to bring a summon and try to uh, hold that objective a little bit. Up in the skies, the Rot Flies have continued their pursuit of the pesky Fate Weaver. Have my other units have been pinned in place by some nasty Chaos Furies and the returning Doom Knights with 11 models. If they can get a regrowth, they could be quite problematic for me. And a lovely play here once again, using the Gaze of Fate just to escape with Fate Weaver. But you may turn and engage this now because they've lost a lot of their melee attack with that Gaze coming in. And the Doom Knights clatter into the side and the fight for the air certainly isn't over yet. Though we're doing a pretty solid job so far. The uh, Fury Summons are really starting to weigh us down. Now, objective number three looks like there's a good chance of being ours soon. Now, we have a Cultist in here and the Chaos Knights are holding pretty firm. We've summoned some Plague Bearers. My opponent is still capping it. You may be wondering why. And that is because the Plague Bearers do not count as uh, being able to cap an objective because they're a summon but we are doing moving the plague toads in there to help contest and objective number one is starting to fall into our hands but another unit of blue horrors is spawned and they are roasting the plague toads who are trying their best just to stop my opponent capturing objective number one number two has been in his hands for quite some time Exalted Flamer does some 360 no scopes up into the skies, trying to catch out the plague drones who are desperately trying to finish off these goddamn Doom Knights. They don't want to die, they're so frustrating. And my little Herald is running for his life. He should probably just turn and engage this, but it looks like the plague drones do get pinned in place by the Gaze of Fate, and that's going to allow the Exalted Flamer just to roast their asses. Oh my god, the damage is pretty brutal there. Seven kills, though, not too crazy, but he has been firing out, of course, more elite targets all day long. And if you're Nurgle and you lose the same to objective things tend to go pretty badly for you so we've lost objective two it is a 1-1 cap though my opponent still hasn't got his home objective he does bring out the big air effect blast from zinch this is almost always worth saving up for i really do love this big blast it helps a lot on caption objectives luckily for me it mainly hit my summons my nurglings were able to escape and likewise was the cult of nurgle who's driving his steed hard here across the mountainous terrain bomb rushing towards the pink horrors to hopefully you know sort them out and stop them getting into the main fight now plague drones are on approach as are the plague toads looking to bring the pain to the Forsaken, which is going to be a pretty gnarly fight. I do have the support of the Herald of Nurgle, however. My god, the Plague Toads are getting roasted in here. Oh, it's so bad for them. The Flamer seems like he can't shoot there. He's kind of getting bunched up by a lot of his own troops, but hopefully he will start roasting me, my uh, kind of Plague Toads a little bit. Held of Nurgle pops down in. He's getting healed up by just casting spells. And it looks like we are going to pop in. Oh, this was a big mistake in the game. I was meant to pop Spirit Leech on him. And as you can hear from that familiar sound, that is Fair Buna. So a bit of a misclick by me. Still should be enough to help finish off the Exiled Flamer and uh, Doom Knights as well. Uh, kind of bomb rushing in. Now, we do use some cultists as well as plague drones to pin in a mass amounts of enemy reinforcements. A lot of ranged troops here as well. And they don't have the biggest punch in combat. So the plague drones doing a decent job. We have objective free, and I'm gunning all guns blazing for objective number two because number one it's got pink horrors on it it has blue horrors on it it's going to be really hard to contest that objective we have even more toads coming in despite the fact they're taking huge amounts of damage they're relatively swift at least for nurgle units i'm hoping this will turn the objective in my favor but alas it does not we do have the glorious pox riders in here doing some 360 uh karate or a toe jujitsu, as I like to call it. And the Forsaken are kind of eventually getting ground down and kind of picked apart here. Looks like Fate Weaver has landed, which is a little bit risky because there's a load of toads around, but he still hits relatively hard. And it looks like the Pox Riders are moving up to deal with these blue horrors, and we still have the drones and the Cogs and Urgle holding back all the pink forces. And the middle objective, very contested at the moment, I'm going to start summoning some Nurglings to hold, hopefully hold it. And objective number three is about to come under a lot of pressure. And this is a big pain in the butt. It's something my opponent's been doing all day long, is just summoning Chaos Knights and sending them over and the Zinch Knights a little bit better in melee than average your average Chaos Knights I think because of that shield and I love love their capes and the shields I know a lot of people don't seem to like the Chaos Knights because they're too similar to the basic ones and they don't like the skulls on them I don't mind if they take the skulls off or anything but the icy blue eyes and the the color scheme I'm a massive fan of in general but we are going to be summoning I think some more Nurglings just to help contest and hold that objective down because infantry is so much better at holding objectives than cavalry now, the main fight is starting to turn a bit in our favor. You can see it is slowly, slowly coming towards us as we are able to drag down some Chaos Knights in the middle here and the Forsaken. And it looks like Fate Weaver may get a little bit stuck. I have a load of Nurglings on the objective, plus more Hippity Hoppity Toads. The Plague Drones continue just to harass and be a pain in the butt to the Pink Horrors alongside the Cultists. And we've kind of plugged up this little choke point here, which is really good for me. 
Big Pendulum goes down, not doing too much damage though, unfortunately, for my opponent because it was only aimed at Nurglings, and it really wants to be used on tightly compact formations. Flamers of Zinch have been summoned, and Flamers may be the best unit on the Zinch roster. It's hard to say, they've got a lot of good units. Blue Horrors as well are pretty nasty, but look at the carnage and the damage. The Pink Horrors are really struggling to get through here, and they're still going to struggle because they've received quite a big burn there, it seems, to the back of the dome, but the uh, Plague Drones are again roasted, just obliterated here by the holy warp fire of Zinch, his gift to the universe. Middle objective is Arsdom. Finally, for the first time in the game, we do have the two versus one cap, although we are about a thousand tickets behind, so we really do need to start to catch up. Hell's Fury is going to start plugging all these uh, Forsaken and Blue Horrors. We also have uh, a few more Nurglings who can get nice and aggressive and just stop my opponent getting on the objective. That's something you want to do with Nurgle quite a bit. So don't fight on the objective necessarily, fight in front of the objective and you're going to be quite sticky to take down. Up in the air game, we have a fight between my lord and my opponent's lord. Fate Weaver's getting poisoned, and we're kind of giving him the business. The Heron Nurgle's doing a decent job. Looks like though there is going to be a regrowth coming down. That could be a little bit problematic for me. Pink Horrors are starting to lay shots up and over into the Furies, which I like quite a bit. Good map control there by my opponent. Just trying his best to kind of make the middle a big soup bowl of death, where he can just rain down shots and do some pretty big damage. Objective 3 is well and truly mine, and I'm having to pit less resources over here. At the moment, but I do have to constantly summon Nurgles or uh, Nurglings just to pin in these Chaos Knights and try to stop them from overwhelming me because they will drag me down. It's just it's going to take them a long time. So I move over some Rot Flies to jump on them. They got decent APs. I'm hopeful we might be able to win that fight. Nurglings in the middle do take some bombardments. Getting some Vietnam flashbacks for these poor lads, unfortunately. Like, no, run! Scream as the purple hellfire of Zinch does rain down upon them. Doing some pretty decent damage. We are able to get out there relatively quickly. Let's do a nice little slow motion shot of the middle as the Nurglings fight up against Forsaken and Blue and Pink Horrors. It's going to be a tough fight as more shots are raining in, but I don't need to win the fight, remember. I just need to hold the enemy in place. Flamers start lighting my Herald of Nurgle's arse on fire, stopping me from chasing Fate Weaver, so my opponent kind of dragged me back to the ranged troops, and I now need to pull back. I've got plenty of potential for healing, though, so it's certainly not over yet, but on the main battlefield, my army's not looking too great. I've hopped up on some of the train there. You can see this lovely, like, giant, almost warp gates on this map. Pretty crazy stuff for sure. On objective three, the Chaos Knights are actually not doing too bad here. The little drones are just trying to get in there and do some damage, but the Chaos Knights just do not like dying. We have more hippity hoppity toads coming in in the form of the Plague Toad Silver Chevron now, moving into the main fight. And these Nurglings are just plugging this gap for half a decade. They do not care. They are going nowhere, sir. They are going to stand here and fight. A pendulum coming down here would be pretty detrimental, though, to the Nurgle cause. Luckily, the Plague Toads are inter able to intercept the Forsaken here, but it is going to be a bad fight for me so I have to pull back my general and though I have nearly stabilized the ticket situation and I currently have map control my army is starting to look a little bit thin and the pink horrors just constantly loosen shot after shot into the main area of objective two here is making me struggle quite a bit so how am I going to counter this well I summon some plague toads it is in the back of my mind that I can always push objective one but I need my opponent to commit to the middle a bit first and then I hop on it and toads and hopefully he doesn't realize until it's a little bit too little too late so at the moment I'm still trying to contest the mid. The flamers are a big, big problem for me, though. They are applying so much pressure to my lord, but also all my big units, my nurglings, they can do so much damage, and I have no way of getting there because there's so many forsaken in the middle. I need to come up with some, maybe some flyers again, like we had at the start, to shut down the flamers as they do roast me. And the pink horrors, look at their glorious little plasma grenades pouring their damage on to Nurgle. I can't remember what the damage dealt stats were like, but I'm certain my opponent, despite the fact the ticket's been so early, is miles ahead on the amount of damage in carnage he's been able to unleash upon me. Hair of Nurgle's running for his life. It looks like Fate Weaver's got a little bit bold now. You know, he had his regrowth. He had his bad fights early on, but he's going to be hunting down the held where possible. We've summoned some more Plague Toads. Objective 3 is fine. We've got Rot Flies and Nurglings on there. We should be able to hold it, at least, from the Chaos Knights. And Objective 1 is wide open. All of these forces being committed in to the middle. Perhaps there is hope yet. The Hibbity Hobbity Toads are going after the Flamers. I really want to hunt them down and also help secure Objective 2. And this is looking pretty bleak for me. My General's been shut down, being chased away. He's exhausted. And I'm I'm going to pull what is called a pro gamer move here. So I'm out of magic for the most part, so I can't heal myself up. What I do is I summon a unit of furies to try to chase Fate Weaver and uh, pin him in place because Fate Weaver isn't the greatest melee combatant in the world. I'm using the replay, keeps going in slow mode. There we go. And uh, I then use 
our faction heal up to pop that down on the Herald of Nurgle, which is going to heal him up, and then that's going to spread to the Furies, also healing them up, and we all of a sudden start wailing on Fate Weaver. We have beaten the living crap of the out of the two-headed duck. He's trying his best, but his shield's gone, and his HP is starting to drop pretty fast. He's at his healing cap as well, and my boy just keeps on healing. We summon some more toads to the battlefield as well, just trying to get onto the objectives as quickly as possible, and Fate Weaver runs, fly away, two-headed demon of Zinch fall before the might of Nurgle and the Herald who does speak his name and it looks like Fate Weaver is going to be retreating pretty hardcore here objective free though is starting to be lost by us because the knights have held us up for so long some forsaken have got over there my opponent's getting really close to victory he has now gained the middle objective and objective one is out of my control so I'm trying the last second gambit moving the plague toads over there can we capture that objective and hold number um free here it's not looking Looking too good. I do push forward, but the flamers once more. Anti aircraft guns. Little did we know. They're doing so much work. Only six kills, but I bet their damage value is pretty damn high. The Furies getting obliterated as well. The Herald is retreating, trying to fall back to the love and embrace of Papa Nurgle, where hopefully he can get cuddled and healed back up to full HP. Fate Weaver, you may have won this one. You may live to tell the tale of your glories to Zinch, but I'll be back at some point. Flamers just bathe my units in that glorious pink and purple flame, just giving us, bestowing upon us the blessings of Zinch, I think is a good way of looking at it. And down my Air Force goes, and down goes my hope of any type of victory. We're triple capped right now. I am going for a sneaky little cap on objective one, but my opponent's having none of it. Chaos Furies are on the approach. They won't be able to stop us capping, but they'll be able to do a decent amount of damage, but it's a little bit too little too late. We got to 4,000 tickets despite taking so much damage, but Zinch shall be victorious. And I already know a lot of people are going to say, hey, a lot Nurgle's lost quite a lot in your replays. Are they any good? Check out my live stream from yesterday where Nurgle dominated. I think Nurgle was probably the most picked faction and did some insane work. But anyway, well played to my opponent, the mighty Nathan, an absolute chad. If you ever do run into him on quick bows, always feel free to say hello and uh, be careful because he's also quite a good player and he will be able to rip your head off. So well played again to the force of Zinch. I think this is a pretty tough matchup for Nurgle due to the sheer amount of long range power Zinch can bring in. It can be really quite scary. So I was going for the air core, seeing if it worked and it did okay in the early stages, but wasn't really able to stabilize. I think bringing in, cutting maybe the plague drones and bringing in the rot flies and having more of them in the late game to help contest the mobile game might have been a bit of a better way to go. But nonetheless, it was a super fun battle. 4,000 value. My God, the hell of Nurgle. I think I missed the purple sun unfortunately this has been cast twice because obs didn't pick it up the first time so i've had to recast and uh i missed a few more key fins hope you guys still enjoyed it nonetheless he did get four thousand value there's a really nice purple sun where he kills a whole unit of blue horrors and half a unit of pink horrors in the mid game if you guys did enjoy this, I will go through the kills and damage dealt and all that stuff in a second. But if you enjoyed, please do leave a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more glorious Warhammer 3 content into the future. We're well on to the Warhammer 3 hype train now. It's just going to be Warhammer 3 videos from here on out. And I am loving this new game mode. Holy crap, is it so much fun to play. It's all I've played. It's uh, really, really been enjoyable. Uh, those, yeah, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, all that good standard stuff. Links down below in the description if you want to get involved in tournaments and events that I'm going to be hosting for this game. I am going to be hosting a lot of those and also get involved with streams, chill out with a load of cool people as well. There's a link to my Discord down below. They've got over 800 members now. It's huge. And uh, yeah, links down below to Twitch where I'm going to be streaming as well as Patreon where you can support the channel. There we go. Got them all out in the end. But back to the glorious battle. Once again, well played to my opponent. Zinch does cackle it to victory this time. But 4.2k gold value and 68 kills. Herald of Nurgle is a scary man. And I'm one of the big fans of the Plague Fire. I know a few YouTubers don't seem to like him. I've had some really good games. And again, if you go back and see... The torment footage from yesterday, you'll see quite how powerful he can be. But yeah, the Herald of Nurgle, not bad whatsoever. The Plague Drones of Nurgle... Probably can be decent, but maybe not so much in this matchup. They don't really need the AP. 963 damage value and 130 is a little bit disappointing. Rotflies did better. 1,000 value on them with 12 kills. Little Nurglings 
didn't do anything too crazy. Neither did the Pox Riders or the Coltis. So he kind of struggled elsewhere on the battlefield. The Hibbity Hobbities, they managed to get 25 kills, 1,174 damage value. Not too shabby whatsoever. And the Nurglings just held the line. I also like Furies, just 720 value. Furies in general for all the demon factions are pretty damn solid. As for the Mighty Force of Zinch, the Fate Weaver, only 1.7k value. Not too many good targets for him, unfortunately, to pendulum down today. But I love his play. The combination of the gaze to pin units in place and allow the flamers to reign supreme he also got a lot of regrowths was very tanky and got the best out of the doom knights who themselves got 2117 gold value i think they were only summoned to the once as well so that's a very good play by them these goddamn knights were very pesky 62 kills 1.1k value exod flamer 1.2k value despite only seven kills and uh, some more knights again 1200 value Forsaken did really good, 1.8k, 1.2k uh, value on the standouts there, 1.8k as well on the Flames of Zinch once more. Pink Horrors did a solid job as well, 500 value, 1,970. Really solid work across the board, and some of the Furies did amazing. One unit struggled in the early game. Of course, against my Maths Flies, this other unit gained a Silver Chevron and got 1,500 damage value. Very impressive stuff. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this one. I hope this recorded as well this time. Until next time, peace, peace. And as always, stay awesome.